Hello everyone and welcome to the first network update of 2023. Happy New Year. Uh, it's this time of year that we're focused on making improvements in our lives. Uh, maybe you've made a personal resolution or you've got some big goals for your church or ministry this year. That's great. Often when we come up with those goals, we do it by comparing ourselves with others across our network. And I think that's a good thing. As I travel across the state as a superintendent, uh, I notice this happen in collaborative ways. It's very empowering because it's spurring one another on towards greater works and closer intimacy with Jesus. That's awesome. But sometimes that comparison devolves into jealousy, envying what others have that we don't, uh, assuming wrong motives with leaders across the state, misjudging them. Sometimes we separate ourselves because we feel we don't measure up or we feel like quitting. And that's not where that comparison is supposed to lead to. Um, as we compare ourselves with others and we seek to improve things in our lives, I want to challenge us to always point everything back to our primary role model, which of course is Jesus Christ, our Savior. First Peter 2.21 tells us to follow in the footsteps of Jesus because he is our example as a person, as a pastor, and as a minister. So I want to challenge you with two questions as we start off the year. Number one, what's a personality trait of Jesus that you think is a strength in your life today? And then number two, what's a characteristic of our Savior that you'd like to improve upon in 2023? So for me, number one, I think of the servanthood of Jesus. He um, washed his disciples' feet. He said, the greatest among you will be your servant. And I try to still have a servanthood attitude. Sometimes as leaders, we can... Uh, elevate into places and positions where we think we're beyond the menial tasks, jobs we used to do. We assign them to others. We don't have time for those things. And even though there is some thinking to that that matters, uh, sometimes it's healthy to continue doing some of those things for humility. That's why Jesus did it, to set the example of true humility through servanthood. Hopefully I'm doing a good job with that. But an area that I think I need to improve upon, number two, is compassion. Jesus noticed the crowds. He had compassion on them. He stopped his daily routine several times to minister to people in immediate need. Um, I think I do a good job planning time for our network, working hard for the Nebraska Ministry Network. But I often sometimes don't notice or overlook my family or overlook my neighbors here at Midtown in Omaha. And uh, the one thing that God put on my heart that I'm accountable to my network staff as a focus for me this year is that I would care for people that don't have a professional benefit back to me. And so those are the answers to my two questions about comparing myself with Jesus. What about you? Ask yourself these things this year. Meet with somebody you love and trust and talk about it. Maybe your network group or your group leader. And uh, let's continue to let Jesus be our primary role model in 2023. Hey, as always, walk holy, work hard, and worship him. And I can't wait to see you on the Healthy Ministries Tour later this month. God bless.